Yaddle was the second member of Yoda species we were introduced to in Star Wars lore, appearing during the events of The Phantom Menace, the very first, chronologically speaking, Star Wars film to be released. Yaddle has resurfaced in Star Wars lore, appearing in the Tales of the Jedi teaser trailer, featuring her and Count Dooku engaging in what appears to be a lightsaber duel, having her unified connection to the light side of the Force even above Grandmaster Yoda. She most likely was the one to sense Dooku's original fall and temptations with the dark side, seeing him flirt and dance with it. However, how did Yaddle die in Star Wars Legends continuity? In On the Wikipedia, it states that Yaddle died a noble Jeff, Obi-Wan Kenobi commenting on this, saying that Yaddle made the only choice that she could, and she made it freely, to his Padawan Anakin Skywalker after Yaddle's death. During the year 26 BBY, 26 years before the Battle of Yavin, and seven years before the Republic was collapsed under the destructive orders of Supreme Chancellor, now Emperor Shi Palpatine, Yaddle was said to Mawan, along with Obi-Wan Kenobi, a renowned and famed Jedi Master, along with his Padawan, the presumed Chosen One, Anakin Skywalker, their mission was to attempt to restore peace to the lawless planet. However, Yaddle, in a heroic act of self-sacrifice, sacrificed and gave her life for the people of Mawan by using the Force to absorb a massively integral and potent bioweapon released by Granta Omega, which killed her instantly upon impact. By doing so, she saved the city of Natan. Yaddle, at the time of her demise, was 383 years old, almost half of Yoda's eventual age, being 900. Yaddle was the last Jedi Council member to die before the events of the Clone Wars and the Battle of Geonosis during the events of Attack of the Clones, with her place on the spot of the Council being filled by renowned Jedi Master and clone expert Shark T, with Shark T being a very interesting character. I hope you explore further. Well, my friends, what did you think of this quick introduction to how Yaddle was killed in the events of of Legends continuity and in a comic book issue. Tell me if you like these shorter videos and would like to commence more videos revolving around Jedi Master Yaddle. She is one of the most cryptic and powerful Jedi Masters with her unification with the light side of the Force being above what many consider to be even the renowned Jedi Grandmaster Yoda, one of the most powerful, possibly the most powerful Jedi to ever exist with the exception of Grandmaster Luke Skywalker in Legends. Yaddle certainly was the opportune Jedi and forgave and forgot all her past fears and recklessness even after being in captivity for over a century. She forgave her captives and rewarded them upon releasing her. Yaddle was certainly one of the more intriguing and interesting character developed Jedi in Star Wars lore. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell with your lightsaber if you wish to ascend to the rank of master. Goodbye friends, and I'll see you in our next video.